Tangents. A tangent line intersects a circle at exactly one point called the point of tangency. So on this diagram, the point of tangency would be point A, where it touches the circle. That's the tangent point. A line tangent to a circle, a line is tangent to a circle if and only if it is perpendicular to a radius drawn to the point of tangency. So this diagram shows that PA is a radius, it's perpendicular to the point of tangency, which is at A. So that means that AB is perpendicular to PA. Perpendicular meaning a 90 degree angle, a right angle. Determine if segment AB is tangent to circle B. I'm sorry, circle P. So we're trying to determine is AB perpendicular to the circle uh, the radius PA. So we want to know if there should be a right angle right there at point A because that's the point of tangency. Now how do you determine that using three sides of a triangle? You use Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And in this case, we are not sure that this is true. We want to check whether or not the Pythagorean theorem is true or not. If it is true, then point A would be a right angle. <clears throat> so let's check it. Our two shorter legs are 8 and 15. So is 8 squared plus 15 squared, is that question mark equal to 17 squared? 8 squared is 64. Five, 15 squared is 225. 17 squared is 289. 64 plus 225 is in fact 289. So 289 does equal 289, which means yes, it is a right angle. So yes, AB is tangent to circle P. Yes. Let's check this next one. We're trying to determine if point A is a right angle or not. Again, the two legs, the shorter legs are, um, oh, this is a tricky one. So pay attention here, the, this chunk right here from B to the edge of the circle is five, but the radius length from the edge of the circle to P is the same length as the center of the circle to the edge of the point, which is 11. So that means that B to P is 16. So our two shorter legs are still 14 and 11. So we've got 11 squared plus 14 squared. Is that in fact equal to our new um, hypotenuse length 16 squared? 11 squared is 121, 14 squared is 196. Is that equal to 256? 121 plus 196 is 317, which is not equal to 256. So no, AB is not tangent. It's, a not, it's not a right angle. All right, next ones are going to tell us that it is tangent and we're gonna find the, the missing length. So we've got two lengths here, seven and 19, and we're trying to find a hypotenuse. It is tangent, so that means that this is a right angle. So seven squared plus 19 squared equals x squared. Seven squared is 49, 19 squared is 361, 410, and the square root and we're gonna go ahead and take that to the decimal. So X equals 20.2, rounded to one decimal. You go ahead and try the next one.
All right, let's take a look at the next one. So the length X here represents just K to the edge of the circle. And this L to the edge of the circle is another length of 10. Whoops, I didn't mean to write 11. Uh, another length of 10. Um, so what we can do is we can say that this entire length is a different variable and then come back and subtract it. So I'm gonna call it Y and we can subtract off that 10 at the end because we already know the other two legs. So we're ready to go and calculate the third leg. So 10 squared plus 24 squared equals Y squared. 100 plus 24 squared, 576. Six seventy six. So y equals twenty six. So this whole length is twenty six minus ten. So x equals sixteen. <clears throat> All right. Let's take a look at this next one. So if we know that this length is eleven, I also know that this length is eleven. And we know that this corner is tangent, so we can still set up a Pythagorean theorem with 22. So x squared plus 22 squared equals 25 squared. Subtract 484. 84. So x equals 11.9. All right, let's take a look at the next one. If this length is 3.5, then this length is also 3.5. So that means that that entire length is seven. This point is tangent. So we've got seven squared plus 6.4 squared equals X squared. 49 plus 40.96. Eighty-nine point nine six square root nine point five. Okay, if this length is x, then this length is x. Um, if you'd like to, you could just call the whole length a different variable. We can just call that whole length y because I already know two of the other side lengths. This is our right angle. So we've got seven squared plus y squared equals 25 squared. 49 plus y squared equals 625 minus 49, 576. So y equals 24. So this whole length is 24, which means that each of these two lengths is gonna be 12. All right, let's try this one. So I know that if this length is X, this length is also X. And unfortunately on this one, I can't call one of the lengths Y because I don't know exactly two of them. So in this case, we are going to need to work with the variables and work with them as an addition. So this side length I can write as X plus 10. And I can group that together in parentheses so that when I square it, it stays together. So two side, two shorter side lengths. So x squared plus 20 squared equals x plus 10 squared, which is the same thing as x squared plus 20 squared equals x plus 10 times x plus 10. When you square something, it means to multiply it by itself, not to distribute this square. So then we've got x squared plus 20 squ squared. x times x is x squared. x times 10 is 10x. 10 times x is 10x. And 10 times 10 is 100. So now we've got x squared plus 400 equals x squared, 10 and 10x makes 20x's plus 100. 
Now, this is not a linear equation any longer. We're working with a quadratic equation. So the best way to solve this quadratic equation is to combine our um, x squareds um, and our x's. The good news for us is that we're going to subtract an x squared from both sides. And those x squareds are going to cancel. And we're going to be left with, and I'm going to move over here, 400 equals 20x plus 100. Yay. So now it's turned back into a linear equation, minus 100. 20x equals 300, divide by 20, and x equals 15. So this was FOIL. So x, squared pl x plus 10 squared is the same thing as x plus 10 times x plus 10. All right, more tangent line properties. If two segments from the same external point are tangent to a, a circle, then they are congruent. So what we're saying is that if this point B is drawn to the tangent point C and this point B is drawn to the tangent point A, then AB is congruent to BC. If a polygon is circumscribed around a circle, then all sides are tangent. So that means if the circle is touching each side of the polygon, it's circumscribed inside of the shape, and it means that all sides are tangent, meaning if I drew a radius from P to D, this AB length would be tangent. The other thing that's true about this is that it creates congruent segments for each of the lengths. So BE is congruent to EC. FC is congruent to, oh, I'm so sorry. I just did that backwards. Ah, let's try this again. So BE is congruent to BD, so this triangle, and then this triangle, so 2, 2, and then this triangle is congruent, are congruent to each other. So it's basically just smaller versions of this one. So see how this one comes to the tangent points and then those two are congruent? It's basically just a smaller version on each of the each of the uh, edges of the polygon. Find each value or measure. Assume that segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. So if these two are tangent, then they're equal. 5x plus 23 equals 8x minus 19. Minus 5x, 23 equals 3x minus 19. Add 19. 3x equals 42. And x equals 14. You try 11. And 12, we want to find SV, so we want to find this middle length, which we know that this is right angles on each of these, so we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to end up finishing this problem. But first, we need to know the value of x so we can plug it back in. So 10x minus 41 equals 4x plus 7. 6x equals 48. x equals 8. Now we can plug it back into either one. Um, it doesn't matter which one you plug it back into. You can do the second one. So 4 times 8 plus 7, 32 plus 7, 39. So then this length is also 39. And now we can use Pythagorean theorem with these two legs in order to get that third leg. So we've got, and I'll call this length Y, the SV. So we've got 39 squared plus 17 squared equals y squared. 39 squared is 1, 5, 2, 1. 17 squared, 289. <clears throat> Square root, 42.5. All right, the last two here want us to find the perimeter of DEF. 
So that's the, in this case, that's the outer triangle. So again, they match. So if this is 16, this is 16. This is 9.5, this is 9.5. If this is 11, this is 11. So then we just add it all up. So 11 plus 11 plus 16 plus 16 plus 9.5 plus 9.5 is 73. Same thing here, but this time they've given us chunks of some of the side lengths. So if this is 23, then this is 23. If this is 27.1, this is 27.1. And then to get these two chunks, we need to subtract those. So 37.5 minus 23 leaves us with a 14.5 and a 14.5. And then 52.5 minus 27.1 leaves us with a 25.4 and a 25.4. And then we just add all that up. So 23 plus 23 plus 14.5 plus 14.5 plus 27.1 plus 27.1 plus 25.4 plus 25.4, which is a total of 180. Thank you.